Hello, my crafty friends, and welcome back to another month of creating cards in 10 minutes, where I use the current sheet load sketch from Call Me Crafty Al to make my set of cards, but in 10 minute increments. This is the February 2022 sheet load sketch from Call Me Crafty Al. This one uses six by six paper, which I am thrilled about because as you know, when I did my Club EP unboxing, I showed you this really cute six by six paper pad that was in the kit and that I will be using it today. Along with some decorations. I have some brads here and I have these from Amazon. Really cool enamel dots. I will put that link down in the description box. So here's the delicious sketch. Here's the card itself. And then here's the cutting guide. I already cut the papers off camera. It took me between nine and 10 minutes to cut the papers. And I already had my card bases. So let's go ahead and get started putting these pieces on. Here is my timer. 10 minutes, start. All right. Now, like Alicia pointed out in her process video, you want to start putting your pieces on either side like this first to make your little border, and then the inside will be more a little more precise. Like so? Okay, so let's get started with that. These are going to be Valentine's cards. This is a pink that I bought at Michael's, but it kind of looks like Blushing Bride from Stampin' Up. And I think it matches the flowers very pretty. These are the sentiment strips that I cut per the cutting guide, but I may use a die cut. I just haven't gotten that far in my decision process yet. So there's the first piece. This is my Tombow Snail, permanent adhesive runner. I have, I am an affiliate marketer for several companies and I will have that link down in the description box. Okay. Homemade, not Hallmark. So they're all not gonna be perfect. To get six pieces from the six by six paper, you have to not do what she called a generous cut. You have to cut just to the inside, say if it's an inch, you want to cut your 15 sixteenths instead of the whole inch, just to make sure if that makes sense. Doing good. And 
these flowers are pretty too, aren't they? Okay, this one's almost done. Luckily, I have a refill ready. So, we'll do that real quick. Just snap it right in. And there you go. I love these cups. Very cute. <clears throat> okay. Okay, there are those. Excellent. Good. Okay. My plan is to cut out the heart. We can put that on the sentiment strip. So let's get started with that changed my mind since we don't have a lot of time left and the die cut machine has been put away <laughs> and I went into a cleaning fit so let's go ahead and do this I'm going to be sending some love and I'm going to put this on the right side of the sentiment strip I'm using Pretty Peacock ink because I think there are several colors that I can use with this paper. There, isn't that pretty? Sending some love and, and the inside is gonna be Happy Valentine's Day in Pretty Peacock. Final decorating will be decided later. Okay, there we go. All right, let's stamp the inside of the card. That is always a good idea, I feel, because if you mess it up, you can turn it over and then just put the matted pieces on. There's one. Two. This blocks, oops, 
This black stamp is a little crooked. See, I think we'll do that because look, there's... So I just have to offset it just a little bit so that it stamps straight. And I think I did an okay job. Perfect. Okay, last but not least. Good, good. All right. We have. Oh, okay. Three seconds. Okay. And there we are. Okay. All right. We will start with the die cutting next time. There's everything we got done today, quite a bit, I believe. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again really soon. Bye-bye.